So, I'm going to go through and create a demonstration of how to submit something like this certificate of participation um, for a volunteer activity to count towards your district uh, alternate compensation goal. So this video is being updated to um, reflect the changes in our copiers. We are now using the Ricos that have also have scanning capability. So I'm going to start out by moving it from kind of its copy mode to the fax scan mode here. Click this button. Next I'm going to search for an address, clicking the button down here. And then I need to enter the letters and I'm just going to put in my last name. You would enter your last name here. And then click down here on search and it should pop up your email address in the district. I'm going to click on it, highlight it. Up in the right hand corner it confirmed. I can say close. Now all I need to do is take my certificate. I'm going to put it up in the face down in the feed tray and I want to click on start. It's scanning the original and it just goes silent. So at that point I will be able to go to my Gmail account and I will receive an email that has a PDF file attachment that is a digital copy of my certificate. If I wanted to go through and scan another one for maybe another activity I could just do that at this time. It's easier to scan them separately rather than scanning them all into one file. Um, it just makes it easier to submit them separately. So once you have scanned your evidence of completion, you're going to go to your Gmail account and you're going to search for the file that was emailed from the copier. I'm going to just go through and enter in copier into the search button and enter. And there is my email message and there is my certificate. So I'm just going to click the down arrow here, which downloads it to my computer. All right, down the lower part of my browser, I see the name of that file. So it means it was downloaded successfully and I'm done with Gmail. I'm going to close that. Now I'm going to run over to the alternate comp volunteer goal. And in there I can scroll down to assignment, uh, the assignment volunteer activity form one. Click enter and I've already filled out my activity form. Click on it. Just double check to make sure it's all done. There are three. Here's the event that we did. All right. So that's good. Um, I can close that. And now I'm going to add, I'm going to add a file. So this is a link. I'm sorry. This is a file. And I'm going to select it from my computer. You could also uh, select it from your Google Drive. And here's the file that I downloaded. Actually, it looks like I downloaded a few times. I say open and upload. Goes through. Just a second, that will update. So I have my form here. I have my certificate evidence. And I'm just going to click turn in. It's confirming. Yes, you want to turn this in? Yes, turn in. And I'm all set. I'm all, I've completed my alternative comp volunteer goal. Now, when I go through, you notice I don't have any more edit buttons. If I wanted to add another piece of evidence, I would click unsubmit. Unsubmit again. Now it takes it back. It's no longer been submitted. Now I can go through and add more bits and pieces to this. This is great if you've submitted it after you did your volunteer activity form but haven't submitted your um, evidence yet. This is all you you have control. You don't have to request um, you don't have to request permissions back. You just need to go through and hit the unsubmit button. When you're ready, just say turn it in again. You can toggle that back and forth all by yourself. All right. Thank you. Good luck. 